open i just dropped a bomb like a little bomb on automation industry so yesterday at dev day sam altman announced agent kit and platforms like zapier and anytan should be worried here's what changes everything open i just launched a visual drag and drop agent builder that lets you create production ready ai workflows in minutes no code required until now building ai agents meant like juggling fundamental tools zapier for workflows custom code for logics separate platforms for evaluation so this new agent kit by open ai is an all-in-one platform to build your ai agents this is basically a visual workflow builder just like anytan and zapier and also you can create vector databases for your ai agents that allows you to build memory for your AI agents so you're not required to build a vector database separately all of that you can build directly on OpenAI. During the launch of this agent builder an OpenAI engineer actually built a complete AI workflow with two agents live on stage in under I think eight minutes so let's go ahead and try this ai agents builder and see if it is worth the hype or not so before we start please subscribe to this youtube channel and click on that like button as well and also please hype this video it will help us to reach more audience all right so first of all to access this ai agents builder you need to come to this url which is platform.openai.com slash agent dash builder i will leave a link in description because you cannot access it directly from the default chat gpt interface so you need to come to this particular url and after that on this left side you can see there is this agent builder option so you can simply just click on that and after that it will show you this create a workflow screen so here you can see i have got two different workflows i simply just click on this create button so you can see this is the start you can trigger this agent from this start option from here but first let me just show you what sort of options you have inside this my agent option so here you can see of course you can give it a name and after that you can just like give your agent an instruction based on let's suppose if you're building maybe like a customer support agent or maybe an agent about your website or maybe an agent about your restaurant or anything so you can just like give those instructions in here how to create those instructions i'll guide you in a minute but first let's just explore the further options here you can see there is this include chat history you need to keep that enabled to make sure that your agent remembers the chat history so it can give response based on the chat history then there is this model selection so from here you can choose maybe like any other model if you don't want to choose the gpt5 because gpt5 we know like it's best so far but if you want to choose like maybe a cheaper model that cost you less so you can just like maybe choose something like gpt4 omni or gpt3 omni so if you're not building something very complex you can totally choose any other models otherwise you can just like go ahead with gpt5 then there is this reasoning effort and again it again depends on the type of agent that you are building in our case we are going to build maybe like something very simple so you don't need to add any sort of reasoning but if your agent is maybe like a math tutor which is going to be used by students to solve maybe like complex math problems or like maybe to create algorithms so in that case you can just like increase the reasoning but in this case we don't need any of that then we have the output format by default you can see this is text selected but you can either choose a json so your agent can create output in json format as well but let's just switch back to text and now there are some other options which are like really important options there is this tools option you can add tools inside your agent what are these tools so if i just click on this plus button from here you can see there is this client control but let me just come back to that later you can attach you can add mcp servers inside your agent so that is something like really interesting what that does let me just show you if i just click on this mcp server from here and now you can see i can connect gmail google calendar google drive outlook email and all of these different tools i can connect with my ai agent and that means my ai agent can actually communicate with all of these third party applications through mcp server the most important and mcp server that we have here is this zapier server so now you can just connect any of your existing zapier automation with your openai agents builder so let's suppose if you want to build an automation which is not currently supported by this openai agents builder like you want to build an outbound calling agent using something like 11 labs for more realistic voices but 11 labs directly is not supported by agents builder inside openai so what you can do you can build your agent on zapier and then you can connect that agent through zapier mcp server inside your openai agent so this gives you flexibility to build almost 
any sort of AI agents. You can also manually add any other sort of MCP servers. So you can just like click on this MCP server button from here and then you can just provide the URL for your MCP server and then you can provide your access token. So you can add maybe something like Figma MCP server or any sort of MCP server. There is another very important option and that is file search. If you just click on that and here you can see there is this upload button. Now I can upload any sort of documents, maybe like maybe any sort of like PDF documents or any sort of like docs documents. You can see there is this option to select a vector store. If I just click on that and from here, I can just like choose or maybe create a vector store. What is vector store? So inside this OpenAI platform, I can create a new vector store. Then I can add different files in here. So let's suppose we're building maybe like 10 different AI agents. And for each AI agent, you want to have a separate vector database for that AI agent to like retrieve data from there while responding to a user question so to do that you can create separate vector databases by own open AI platform and then you can just like assign it inside your AI agents builder so here you can see I have created these two separate vector stores so this particular one has this file which is design system template so I just uploaded this file inside this vector store you can see it is available in here inside this file section and now I can use this vector store as my AI agent memory I can simply just copy this id from here and now i can just like go back and then i can just paste that id in here and now it will use this vector store as the memory of this AI agent that we are building so i'll simply just click on select and now once it is selected now you can see it has inside this tool section it has this vector store added in here now we can give our AI agent a custom instruction so whenever you'll ask any question so it will act based on these custom instructions so i'm just giving it this simple instruction which is you are an experienced web designer user will ask you a question to create a prompt that can create a futuristic design using ai because inside this vector store the file that i uploaded was actually a very brief design template where users can create a human-like design using ai which does not look like an ai design so that what this design system template file was i'll just give it a name now design agent now you can see this name has been updated in here and now i can simply just click on this preview button mm -hmm. and as soon as i click on that let me just ask it a question create a prompt for the agents development website presenter and now let's just see what sort of prompt it will create so you can see design agent is now working and now it is going to create a prompt which will follow the instruction which are provided it in that design system document and you can see right now it is reasoning crafting a design prompt and structuring the design brief and you can see it is following all of the instructions which are provided inside that design template so here is a very detailed prompt that it created and the most important thing is here inside this color section because i particularly mentioned inside that design template to not use certain colors so it mentioned that here inside this prompt so you can see it's a very detailed prompt now i can just like give this prompt something like love or bolt and it will generate a very high quality design using this prompt now you can build more complex agents as well you can add logic as well you can add this kind of like conditioning nodes as well also you can add user approval as well so let's suppose if an agent completes a task and now to execute that final step it needs an approval from user so you can do that too so it will help you to create more complex AI agents something like social media scheduling agents or something like YouTube automation agents where you are scraping some data and then like you're creating some content and now before agent publishes that content on your platform now you need an approval it needs an approval from you like from an actual user before it goes ahead and execute that particular task so it's literally a more user-friendly replica of Zapier and n but still it's very useful you can go ahead and give it a try and let me know in the comments again what you think about this AI agents builder I see you next video. Bye-bye.